All right, I've got a discount for you. We're talking Xbox Live. Loads of gaming discounts. All you have to do is go to my description, copy my code from the description, paste my code. Woof, it's gaming time. Righto, tell the OJ champs, and now it's CES time, and I think this one is the ultra book to beat. Now, before I get onto this, just want to put a link in the description to the bushfire appeal in Australia. Lives have been devastated and lost in the bushfires, so yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. You can donate if you want, that'll be great. Anyway, let's get on to CES. There are a few dull announcements, but I want to concentrate on the XPS 13 and what this might mean for the XPS 15. I did not expect a new XPS 13 with a 16x10 display. Now, you already had the 16x10 display with the XPS 13 2-in-1, but that was always a different product. And could this mean that you're actually going to get a 16x10 XPS 15? I honestly don't think so. With 15-inch laptops, you know, all the display manufacturers are making 16x9 because, you know, because everybody wants 16x9 for gaming. There's a little bit of a glimmer of hope that the XPS 15 will have a 16x10 display, but I'm not going to hold my breath in that regard. And, you know, if you're thinking about the XPS 15, it's going to look similar to this. Even though it's 16x9, it's probably going to have the same sort of look. Now, the XPS 13 is one of my favorite ultra books out there. Even the 2 in 1 version, I love that thing. It was one of my top three laptops of last year. And if you want the best ultra book or one of the best ultra books, you get the XPS 13. Great performance, great battery life, great design. Just they are absolutely gorgeous, especially if you're talking about the white one. Oh my God, the sexy AF. Like that white Wyvern glass deck, that is just, I would love for an XPS 15 to have the this design now they did release xps 13 with the comet lake cpus so six core cpus but now this year they're going to release them with ice lake cpus so they're actually dropping two cores from the higher end now with the i7 version of the current xps 13 you could get six cores with the comet lake cpus you won't be able to do that with the new xps 13 four cores will be maximum but you get ice lake cpu i'll go into the specs in a sec Some very interesting things there and even though they're dropping two cores from the high end i'll tell you why i do think this is better in a sec premium design cnc machined aerospace inspired carbon fiber woven glass lightweight design the new four-sided infinity edge display 16 by 10 as well so basically it has no chin no forehead it's pretty much all symmetrical this is supposed to be the first sort of quad infinity edge display so that means you know even bezels the whole way around no chin and it looks pretty much like that we'll see how long it takes other people to catch up because usually there's a bit of a chin or something like that with infinity edge displays and apple have got nowhere near infinity edge displays at the moment even with their latest laptops so we'll see how long it takes everyone else to catch up with this i really do think at the moment you know, withstanding other laptops to be released, which are probably going to be 16 by 9, like, you know, X1 Carbons, etc. This is the Ultrabook to beat. Of course, I'm also waiting for the new MacBook Pros to come out. And of course, they have the, you know, 16 by 10 display as well. But at the moment, this is going to be the Ultrabook to beat. 10th generation CPUs, dynamically tuned. You know, they get the most out of their CPUs, Dell. You always know that. They go for gold. And with the XPS 13s, you won't feel the heat because of that, you know, gore technology they use and stuff like that. HDR certified displays, 4K. It's actually higher resolution than 4K and it's sort of like Full HD Plus as well you can get as an option you know killer battery life they're going to have up to 19 hours with the full hd plus so it's amazing that on a 13 inch laptop you're going to have over 4k resolution and i've got a 16 inch mac and you can't even get 4k and it doesn't have the resolution of the 13 inch also these are going to be great for linux they're always one of the best laptops for linux these xps 13s they make the developer edition so yeah that's awesome hopefully better sound cinema display and all that sort of stuff so yeah, if you're watching content should look good although it will be a bit different now 16 by 10 because you will have black borders so let's get into the most important things the specs yes premium craftsmanship four-sided infinity edge yes 13.4 inch infinity edge display and the amazing thing is it 6.8 percent larger than before in a form factor that is two percent smaller wow so 91.5 percent screen to body ratio so let's look at the specs boom 
and what you can see here, XPS 13, 9,300 10th generation CPUs. So you get the Ice Lake CPU, Sunny Cove architecture, Intel's latest and greatest. Now the good thing about these is the graphics is good, but there's one caveat, you have to get the i7. So the i7 with the G7 graphics, all right? They'll only give you the good Ice Lake Iris Plus graphics with the i7, okay? So you make sure you get the i7. That's one thing you have to do if you want the good graphics. And by the way, if you want to know how good the graphics are, you can game with them. I've got, you know, gaming reviews of the XPS 13 2 and one Look at that if you want to see how you can game with it. Also, hooked up to an eGPU, if you've got one of these Iris Plus graphics and you use an eGPU, you're going to get faster renders than a desktop and even the most powerful laptop. No jokes. If you're using hardware encoding with those Iris Plus graphics because of the improvements in HEVC and H.264, yes, super fast rendering hardware encoding. I do apologize for the background noise, there's nothing I can do about it. You get the super fast memory LPDDR4X, 3733 megahertz, and you can get up to 32 gigs now because we're using the DDR4 variant. Amazing up to two terabyte SSD. I assume the SSD will be M.2 and the RAM should be soldered in. Oh yeah, there you can see, note memory on board. So that is definitely soldered in. Of course, it's super thin and light. It's gonna be soldered in. And you can see here the differences in the graphics. Only the i7 has the Iris Plus graphics, all right? So you wanna get the i7, just trust me, it's much better than the Intel UHD. So now with the displays, higher than 4K. So this is 4K plus. So it's 3,840 by 2,400. That's HDR 400, 500 nit, 100% sRGB or 90% P3 color gamut and 1,500 to one contrast ratio. And then you have two full HD displays or full HD plus and they're both 500 nits. One of them's touch, one of them doesn't have touch. And the 4K is obviously touch. Now, one interesting thing is we're going down to 45 watts. Now, they used to have 65 watts with the XPS 13. Now, we're going down to 45 watts. So, there you go, you know. Going down to 10 nanometer, we can start using, you know, lower wattage power. 52 watt hour battery. And they're saying with the Full HD, you're going to get up to 19 hours. You're going to get over 10 hours. 19 hours, it's going to be a stretch. You're definitely going to get over 10 hours. You know, they've got great battery life, the XPS 13. So, once you get over 10 hours, that's pretty good to me and that will be with the full hd with the you know 4k yeah i expect probably around seven eight hours something like that two thunderbolt threes micro sd card reader now the interesting thing about the thunderbolt threes because it's ice lake you can put the thunderbolt three on either side now with ice lake cpus you have thunderbolt three built in so you do not need a thunderbolt three controller that means you can put a thunderbolt three on either side of the laptop the only other laptop that used to do that is the macbook pro where they actually had two thunderbolt three controllers that had one on either side because most windows laptops that had two Thunderbolt 3s with both on the one side because they only use one controller. Don't need a controller anymore. It's built into the CPU, so you can put the Thunderbolts where you want. So it's awesome. You can charge both sides. You know, it's 14.8 millimeters thin, you know, 1.2 kilos, so super light, super thin. You get Wi-Fi 6 as well. Awesome. And that's killer Wi-Fi 6 built on the chipset. So, you know, there's no discrete thing. It's got, it's got Wi-Fi 6 built in and Bluetooth 5. I can't wait to have a look at this laptop. It's going to be an absolute screamer. I love these Ice Lake CPUs. And, and the reason I think it's better to go with the Ice Lake CPUs over the 6-core Comet Lake is the benefits of those graphics. The Iris Plus graphics make this thing amazing. And you hook up an eGPU to this XPS 13 or anything with Ice Lake CPU in it, it really makes a difference having that Thunderbolt 3 built in and having that Iris Plus graphics for hardware encoding and stuff like that. It's just going to be a beast. And and the dream of, of maybe having a 13 inch and just hooking it up to an eGPU when you need to but even without the eGPU you're still going to get good render times because of the graphics you get with the Iris Plus yeah I cannot wait to get this thing in my hands let me know what you guys think catch you in the next one tally ho